here. You are here with the Blitzkrieg Pop podcasters, Adam, Alex, Munch, and we are. AJ is fashionably late. <laughs> AJ sucks. He yeah. can't find the secret bunker. You guys here's know the this. Deal. <laughs> here's the deal. People with hair, because. You know, the three of us have none. People with hair spend so much time doctoring that we're getting ready (laughs) that they cannot get anywhere on time. That's true. Yeah, I I wake up, I wash my ass, and with the same hand, I run it through my hair, which is non existent. We left a guy in a hotel room because he took two and a half hours. Aaron Duncan got straight fucking left. God bless you, Aaron Duncan. Just started his new business, but. Happy for you. You took too damn long in that hotel room. You sure did. I think <laughs> like, we left you in the hotel room and went to Chicago. Yes, like, we went were, into the city proper. We were downtown eight. eating Sultans, and he yes, texted we us. He goes, yeah. <laughs> By the way, Sultans, if you somehow hear this podcast in Chicago, Illinois, you guys are awesome. De- definitely love the shawarma. Love oh, the Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Long before Avengers. Yes. So listen, though, guys. If you haven't been listening, Adam and I own Infinite Collectibles in Paducah, Kentucky. And if you haven't been listening, I just have to know what the fuck is wrong with That's you. That's correct. <laughs> Our numbers are growing, and it's been great, and we're grateful for all the support. Thank you all very much. Uh, and Munch is a lifelong friend, so he's along for the ride. But today we're doing something completely different. You know what? Hold on. I just want to stop you there. Lifelong friend along for the ride reminds, this makes me think that like we're driving a pickup and Munch is just like, <laughs> there's a rope tied to the fucking trailer hitch and then a rope to his leg and we're just dragging his ass along. Don't you think that's a good analogy? I think it's fair. I think at some point over the years, you guys have given me a skateboard at least so my okay. ass is not dragging. So, so you're not just rubbing on the no, road. No, not okay. rubbing I like my that. ass raw yet. All right. So... Adam come up with a great new concept, and we're going to do like a a review series on shitty video game movies. I don't want you to church it up and say this is a great concept. (laughs) It's a great concept for us because I personally have not seen Super Mario Brothers. I've never watched it myself. The 1993 reviled release. It being talked about and people saying how fucking terrible it was, so I just skipped it. It's not good. I mean, it really... I mean. Look, again, I haven't seen it in almost 25 years. Wow. But it's, I remember even being like an eight year old when it came out in 93 and just going, man, this thing is trash. <laughs> is it it's that so bad? bad? Well, I believe because of that, I'm going to enjoy it because I, my expectations yeah, are you go super yeah, low I mean, expectations yeah. that, you know, you can, and I've heard you can for find years how bad it is. I'm expecting a, a, a dumpster fire. Yes. And so when I experience a dumpster fire that's not burning diapers, I'm going to be like, well, that's not that bad. So, in fact, in the movie, there are a few dumpster fires. <laughs> I'm sure there are. <laughs> I mean, I know it's dystopian. I, I, For, mean, I mean, because, you know, Mario always makes me think Mad Max. Of course. Yeah, yeah. That's the first connection anyone makes with I think Mario. So, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> you know, it's not blue skies no. and, and fucking plumbing. It's stomping on Goombas. Yeah. No, I think immediately of... Just the worst dystopian future. It's like Blade Runner, but you know the, the <laughs> ground level of it. Yeah, yeah. It's I, awful. I just imagine guys with mohawks, scantily clad, spikes everywhere, <laughs> and they're fucking murdering for gasoline. And then you throw Mario. That's in there awesome. Like, so, that's having not seen it, um, what what are your expect? What do you want? Well, from I mean, it? what look, do you want from? I know for a fact the movie was released in 1993. Yeah. Okay, it uh, had a budget of like 48 million dollars. It made twenty million in the box office. It made twenty dollars. So, <laughs> I mean, it's all—it's by all rights and purposes a massive flop for everyone involved. I mean, in fact, Nintendo had a Metroid movie that they had had in the works, and once the box office numbers came in, they're like, "No, this no is why Metroid Legend movie. of Zelda has never been produced. exactly. This is why none of their and things that sucks so bad because I think I really think, especially nowadays." That they could do such a good Metroid and Zelda, maybe skip Donkey Kong, but you know we could do some Why? good movies. Because Donkey Kong would... had a really good CGI. Z- Zelda would be great. Zelda would be great. Excuse me, Princess. Cast... Zelda's already <laughs> like, been great. You could cast Kit Harrington as Zelda. Oh fucking! As wait, hold on. Zelda. Did you just say as Zelda? <laughs> <laughs> you just said as Zelda. I as meant Zelda. exactly what I said. Yo, okay. Everybody, well, as as everybody calls him Zelda. I don't want him being Link. Now, do you guys do know that right now Mario? I mean, Nintendo has a Mario movie in the works. Right? Yeah, I heard that. I mean, they have a. I did not know that. They that, have a that's CGI. True. That is very true. Mario right? movie in the works right now. I just got three quarters. We are. <laughs> It's <laughs> now there aren't live action. What's bad, people. guys, is I just looked for them on the table, <laughs> and now I understand what he's talking about. 
took me a minute. Slow yep. on the upkeep. Yep. yep. Uptake. Yep. Well, I'll keep. I'm excited. Let's see what I'm happens. I'm trying to keep him at three quarters. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm hoping that it's good, and I've also heard that you know they do have a Metroid movie in the works again. And see, that, that's that. Here's the di- I'm I'm going in with such low expectations this time, after having known how bad it was from seeing it previously. I'm, yeah, okay. maybe, maybe I'll find a little joy this time. I'm really looking forward to seeing Yoshi. It's not good. Do you know that this that that puppet cost them five hundred million dollars? <laughs> what? No, I'm sorry, five hundred thousand. Wow, five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, well that's not bad. It's actually a lot, though. Yeah, but compared to five hundred million, to oh yeah. 000, well, I mean, I kind of blew my wad way too early on that one. But yeah, you kind of dropped yeah, my five hundred thousand dollars. You got to think though of a, mo- a in movie in nineteen ninety, a budget of forty eight million dollars. Five hundred thousand of it was a Yoshi puppet. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Well, I'm fucking excited. Let's listen. Let's Should watch be. this motherfucker. Let's do it. Well, we've just come from a uh, blistering movie experience. <laughs> it, was, it, was, uh, <laughs> it was really something. I mean, I was talking earlier, you know, how I hadn't seen it, and I'm not sure... That I should have. <laughs> it's a modern classic, and you did the right thing. <laughs> told you. I told you guys. Do you it's remember movie. the scene in Indiana Jones where they try not to look at the angel of death? <laughs> 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 That's kind of how I feel. That I was is... closing my eyes, but I wanted to peek. <laughs> right. Like, you wanted to see it. And then I saw someone's face melt. <clears throat> But yeah, Thank well, you. AJ's with us okay. now. He made it just in time for us to start the horrendous experience that was Super Mario. Yeah, I mean, he Bros. got to watch the film with us, which yeah. is what was important. Well, I haven't seen it since I was a youngin, and uh, I'm youngin. I don't regret rewatching it. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I did have fun watching it. I gotta I, say, I have to say that the first hour I had fun. Yeah, but well, then the second half it gets was, old. It, it gets old. old. Yeah, that's right. It uh, it really starts to drag. I kind of thought. I mean, we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants. Let's go from the the opening. Let's just kind of go well, through the movie. Okay, here's what I here's <laughs> the, the first thing that I noticed with the menu was that it played the classic music. Now I, I wasn't sure that was going to happen. Like from from all I knew, that wasn't going to happen. And then it actually continued into the opening. I yeah, will say it colored my so. my excitement. I yeah, was like, this is going to be fucking awesome because it's got the classic song. Yeah, Alex was screaming about it being an awesome movie in the first 37 seconds. It was pretty awesome because the music's no, no, no scenes have happened at all. Well, it, it was, going, There's music. It was it's smart great. because they took the familiar <laughs> music and make you feel like... You know, it's something good. <laughs> and then it leads into a Windows 95 looking animated version of the death of the dinosaurs narrated by the guy who voices Homer Simpson. Okay. Which is amazing. Why didn't he just use Homer's voice? Because that would have made the movie perfect and no perfect movie should exist. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. Here's what I've learned about the the animated opening sequence, though, is that that was added after test after showing it to test audiences. And them all going, what the fuck is this movie about? So <laughs> they, they added that opening sequence to show you that, you know, dinosaurs have died 65 million years ago. I mean, that's important. We didn't know that. As if you didn't already know that. Yeah. I, I went to the one of those exhibits and I saw a moving dinosaur that, uh, what was it, fucking walking with dinosaurs? Yeah. Are uh, you telling me that wasn't real? Those weren't real dinosaurs? No, those there, were Adam? real dinosaurs. What, what, Thank you. Don't what stood out to my me, childhood. Jurassic yes, Park are. style, baby. <laughs> those are what real. stood out to me is they looked like Land Before Time characters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was the yellow triceratops. Sarah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they spoke with Brooklyn accents. What, what, yeah. What well, was Because the they other? were in Brooklyn 65 million years ago. Yeah, Where do you think the people got their accents? That accent that's, has been there for the, <laughs> since the dawn of time. So, so that's why everyone hates it. Mm-hmm. There's Sarah, and then there's that other one. Littlefoot? No. Everyone knows. Yeah, Spike. 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 Spike was the Spike was the uh, stegosaurus. stegosaurus. Do, yeah. do you remember? Littlefoot was the brontosaurus, which is what was in the fucking movie. This is yeah. just a slight segue, but do you remember the Pizza Hut figures? Absolutely. Man, little, yeah, little, yeah, the, the, the shittily, not very moldable <laughs> plastic. Oh, I thought toy. those were condoms. But they're supposed to be puppets. <laughs> <laughs> tell me you didn't. Yeah. Tell me you didn't fuck yeah, Sarah. Sarah. There's a, oh there's a reason God. Alex has like 20 children is because he uses Land Before Time toys as fucking condoms. Sometimes, you know, Sarah will ask for a good experience and I'll just get out, you know, little spike. Spike. Ducky. Ducky. Oh, Ducky was a baby. <laughs> oh, man. That's terrible. This is so but bad. You can put your little baby hand 
right. in there, and it's about you know the size of an adult penis. <laughs> How awesome is it that we are, we are? We're four minutes into this, and we've already jumped the shark. I, I apologize. Yeah, too. we're not going to get any further than Alex. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to do a whole episode on the many things Alex has stuck his dick in that he shouldn't have. Uh, Man, that would be a long episode. We'd have so, to make it a two-parter. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here's what I want to know, guys. Would you say that this movie was? <laughs> Loosely based on Super Mario. I mean, <laughs> in the they, fact that Luigi and Mario were in it, yes, they jump occasionally. I think that's important. Uh, Not without the assistance of Boots, though. Well, which is hilarious. Yeah. It really had a sci-fi original vibe. It Hardcore. Uh, I wrote in my notes it has a Babylon Five. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got it's a, a like Sasquatch <laughs> hunters in the nar- North Arctic. <laughs> um, I mean, so I think so, I, I think that the opening set it up though nicely with the with the <laughs> plungers hanging on the wall. Oh, like, wait, like, like a gun rack. rack. Can, yeah. can we get the plot right for those uh, uh, blessed people who okay, haven't so, seen this? So, movie. Number one, I wrote dinosaurs evolving into humans. Wait, what happened was a yeah. meteorite. <laughs> hit the earth and it split into two dimensions basically like the dinosaurs were died off in our dimension but sent into the other dimension where they thrived and prospered yeah but humans so, are mammals yes. yeah, it's a no, they keep, it was a divergent timeline yeah but they, humans are mammals yeah they keep yes. throwing a fit and uh, like True. king koopa who was an evolved t-rex not to spoil that for anybody but keeps throwing a fit and going, these mammals, these mammals. But, like, the women have boobs. Everyone has body hair. Uh, <laughs> those that's, that's, that's are mammalian traits. I mean, like, they're mammals. Are, they are mammals. They are mammals. Even if they evolved from something. I mean, if you go far enough down the line, we evolved from, like, protozoa. Well, I mean, so, everything that lives on land came from fish. Yeah, so, so, I mean, down the line. But at this point, they're mammals, too, and they're just getting shitty about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very shitty. Uh, okay, so, I guess... Well, it starts from with, the opening with the with the meteor hitting. Then you get an egg being dropped <laughs> off at a at a church, a church, a, a Catholic. I church. think that's Daredevil's mom. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure that that. <laughs> you know, I kept expecting that the nun was some Mario character, of some sort. or Wario was <laughs> there. Or something. <laughs> but what hatched from the egg, interestingly enough, was Princess Daisy. It, and as Munch might have pointed out, is this the first? Reference of Daisy in the whole series. I mean, Super Mario Land came before this. That was Super Mario Land was like what ninety ninety one. Was Daisy in Super Mario Land? Daisy's in that. Yeah, she's the she's the princess you uh, do from uh, Sarah, Sarah blah, 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 whatever the alien's name was. I cannot remember it, but that's the princess you rescued in Super Mario Land. Uh, two episodes ago, oh, it's I not sat Peach. here. No, oh, dude, I'm thinking about Daisy. Super Mario World. Okay, yeah. Oh, you're thinking oh, about the Game wow. Boy game? You're talking Super about Mario Game Land. Boy game? Yeah. Two okay. episodes ago, I sat here and said Capcom made the, the new Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and we all agreed. And, and it we is were wrong. Koi Techno. Yeah. I did and, not know that. And we Team Ninja. We so that's why it was bad. I loved it. Oh, oh that was great. <laughs> oh. I just wanted that to be a dig towards uh, Mr. Zach Burnham. So <laughs> Mr. Zach Burnham. If you can hear this, Zach, suck it. <laughs> and you're right. The plunger's on the wall. Yeah. I love that. Perfect. Uh, yeah. I got to say, though, and it's in my notes. Uh, Bob Hoskins is a perfect cast okay. for Mario. Let's just let's go. Uh, let's say this. I think it's it's worth noting that Bob Hoskins plays Mario. Mm-hmm. John Leguizamo plays Luigi. Dennis Hopper is King Koopa. Who's they never say Bowser, but it, I w- I would like to note that they have said over the years since this. It's been twenty six years this year. Good lord, May twenty eighth. Yeah. It's been twenty six years. They were absolutely shooting whiskey. Between every take, <laughs> it I shows mean, they, they were fucking annihilated. There's some drunk. fluid acting while while performing literally these roles. Yeah, while they're like stumbling at that garbage truck, yeah. like it's pretty clearly <laughs> that someone's rip shit and drunk the whole time. John Leguizamo got ran over, <laughs> and uh, Bob Hoskins sl- got his hand slammed in a door and broke it. Because routinely through the movie, you can see his hand. Yeah, you cast. can. He's I mean, holding it real it. weird. There's something it's, discolored. I mean, I think, you know, before we get too far into it, yeah. You're right, though. Hoskins is a pretty damn good Mario. He really has the Mario vibe. And and since this is a comic podcast, too, he was up for Wolverine if they were going to do one, remember? They were talking about Hoskins as Wolverine. That I can't imagine. I can't either. I think he's too chunky for Wolverine. I always confuse him with Danny DeVito. I mean, I would watch a Mario movie (laughs) with Danny DeVito as Mario. Would you watch a Wolverine movie with Danny DeVito? Wait, I would watch it ten times in theater. Wait, wait, you give me an Alpha Flight movie 
was Wolverine. I know where this is going. Bob Hoskins and Danny DeVito as Puck. (laughs) Problem with that. Bob Hoskins ain't going to make it to that party. I'm aware of that. Hey, uh, let's. Yeah, Hoskins is dead. Let's call him the 90s. Let's call Kevin Feige. See what happens. Get him in there. Um, I mean, Disney can probably resurrect anyone. It's a good point. They got a lot of money. But really, Luigi's casting. I can't pronounce his name. John, John Leguizamo. 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 The Violator himself. The Violator. Eric's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I like how can't. many in jokes we're going to toss into this we one. We can't say that, Dan. That's got to come out because yeah. she listens to this. <laughs> no, she doesn't. You oh, good. This, she will listen to this one episode. <laughs> <laughs> Munch's mom kind of looks like the Violator from Spawn. It's, it's an I'm inside not true. joke. <laughs> That's I've no, he's the first no one to make that joke. I was. Just no makeup. Yeah. Okay, anyway, what was the point? Sorry about that. What was the point in that yeah. little segue? Is he good? Give, is he a good Luigi? Does Luigi have a he character? He doesn't even have a yeah. mustache. The but weird <laughs> thing is, like, we were talking about how... <laughs> what just yeah. happened? In this did one... Did you just uh, squeal? He yeah. did. <laughs> it was but, a queef. Uh, like, in this, in this movie, Luigi's the brave one. Yep. But, which at first, Eric rightly called, that's the opposite of every game. But to be fair, at this point, this game came out concurrently with Super Mario World. No one had a personality yet. No. Three years after Super Mario World. Three years after? Yeah, 93. Shit, I was thinking Super Mario, Mario World, World came out in 1990. Well, shit fire. Well, still, anyway. I didn't really have much of a personality still, in Super Mario World. Yeah, that was I mean, the last no, one. No, I mean, that, I mean, let, let's be fair. They're, they're pretty much press start. None of them have yeah. personality. So, <laughs> really- yeah, so, but at some point... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it canon now that Nintendo actually saw this movie and swapped their personalities just to spite the movie. They might have. <laughs> they might have. They they, they really could have. You never know. But okay, so moving on with the plot, the next thing is twenty years later, right? Mm-hmm. And so something. And like the that. egg is is Daisy. Yes. Yeah. And, and we see her like she's like making a phone call. And well, she's, no, she's, she's she's at the dig site. There's a dig site that <laughs> and looks, the mob shows up. It right. looks curiously the like Scalise. the same site where April O'Neil finds the TGRI <laughs> canister. It, it really does look similar, <laughs> except there's no giant flowers. It's, yeah, it's no the flowers. Mob, it's the mob mob shows up and they wanted to quit digging. Yes. And, the yeah. Scapellis, get it Cause, right. Because every movie at this time took place in New York City, and every one of them contains in jokes to the five boroughs that no one outside of New York would ever get. Like everyone makes fun of the Bronx or whatever. You know what a Bronx joke means to me? Jack shit, because I ain't <laughs> never been there. <laughs> Don't give a shit. Don't know. You, know, you want to make fun of Farley? I will well, get the joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> That's a good point. I actually. live there now. I can't make fun of. It. I live there now. I can make fun of it. But so you got Daisy digging up. Bones, dinosaur bones. Now, now she is. It, she, she's part. Spoiler alert. She is a dinosaur. <laughs> she's she part is dinosaur. A dinosaur. She's digging up her great aunt. She hit. She hid in that egg. She was in that egg. that egg. She was hidden that egg that was dropped off in our dimension. I guess to protect her from King Cooper. Yeah, she was dropped. That off wasn't with a noted mysterious, at all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. nothing. At was no noted. point did they explain who dropped the egg, or much less how the fuck they got to this universe. Because the whole plot is. There's the no crossover. Site. The dig site uncovered. Yeah, the dig the site dig is what site. Uh, crosses oh, dig them. Site. Yeah. yeah, which happens Stay 20 with years after. A little piece of meteorite. Yeah, yeah. He's got. She's got a little piece of meteorite, but keeps how, the link open. How did they? But okay. how did she open? Have you guys ever tried to reconstruct an egg? I can honestly say I haven't. Okay, because it's impossible. And so, how do they get a baby in an egg with a meteorite necklace? Well, the meteorite was stuck on top of the egg yeah. when I got oh, dropped okay. off. Yeah. Because I, I thought it was in the egg. <laughs> you thought she came with I the, thought she came with that egg. <laughs> that would be even funnier. <laughs> she came I mean, with they the just necklace. squeezed it Well, in I the thought egg. they just put her in there and then sealed the egg back up. Well, she hatched from the egg because she's a dinosaur. Yeah, but she hatched as a human baby. But she had hair when she hatched. And a belly button. Yeah, mm-hmm. and a belly button. The baby has a belly button. <laughs> a belly coming button. Coming from an egg. From mm-hmm. Coming from the egg. Now, we know that these things can't happen. Rudy told me. Once again... Clearly mammals. I watched the John Carter movie, which is pretty fun. That that was 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 really good. Yeah, way underrated. But I was talking to Rudy about it, and he got he got for our listeners. Rudy is an old man. He's he's seventy two years old. He loves sci fi stuff. And he goes, "Fuck that movie." I said, (laughs) "Why?" He goes, "They all had belly buttons." I was like, "So." Well, Martians don't have belly buttons. They're born on vines or some shit like that. And I was like, wow, he's way into it, man. I didn't notice that. <laughs> What's funny is he's uh, the one who badgered me into watching it. And whenever I went to him, I was like, I finally watched John Carter. You were right. It was good. I enjoyed it. And he was like, 
no, no, I, I didn't fucking like it. And I was like, why'd you tell me to watch it then? He told everybody to watch <laughs> Dude, it. Dude, that movie's yeah. awesome, and it has kind yeah, of like, actually, a, pretty like a Thor Ragnarok vibe. Yeah, like it was like... spicy parts. Oh, really it's, cool. I think it's all... I think when you when you get down to it, it's all based on like Flash Gordon. Oh, yeah. yeah it's cool, though. I mean, anyways, back to the point. She had a belly button. So yeah, that's, was that's the whole point of this podcast, uh, actually. Having, yeah. yeah. Who My, has belly buttons? Not me. Well, she came out of an egg with a I button. have a big yeah. belly button. Like, you could put at least a third of a pencil. <laughs> it's just yeah. a deep... It's, it's like if a well. A if you scream yeah. at Alex's belly button, it echoes. Yeah. It's like a well, really. You have a you have a well and then a flat ass that's you, like a cheese. You could grate cheese with it. <laughs> just oh, my Hank, God. Hank Hill's ass over here. Yeah, yeah. AJ <laughs> sent that picture of Hank Hill's little ass. It kind of looks like a vagina. <laughs> and I laughed so hard at that. But what I did was take the crack and make it go up about halfway yeah, up the I mean, back. Is there ass cracks between your shoulder blades? Yeah, if you slap Alex on his lower back, you will get ass crack in that hand. <laughs> Man. I, my my butt's weird. Like right now, okay, it's in a tragic. Bed. So, <laughs> Alex's ass aside, Alex's ass aside. Yeah, um, I found it funny because it dawned on me the joke they were trying to make with Manhattan and Dino <laughs> Hatton. I mean, that's really that's really the whole point in the fucking movie. When I right first there. heard you say Dino Hatton, I went, "Wow, that has no ring to it. None. So yeah. it must mean something." Yeah, well, Dino you know. Man. Yeah. Which of note, <laughs> Dino Hatton, which is roughly the size of Earth's Manhattan, is the only thing, in that, thing on that whole planet. Yeah, because he had a, because of the meteor. He had a globe, yeah. and it was the yeah. only thing there. Yeah, they bothered making this globe that was just completely blank except for Dino Hatton. <laughs> so it makes you wonder about very, plumbing very and out of scale, else. too, by the way. Yeah, very which, out of scale. Uh, something very, that needs yeah, to really bring very. up, which actually Eric brought this up, but I'm going to reel it in here. Is uh, Koopa's towers are clearly the twin towers? Yeah, they clearly. And, uh, are. and whenever they cross back yeah. over, they clearly destroy them, and they look yeah, the Koopa very, tower, They're terrible. The Koopa towers take over for the twin towers. Mm-hmm. It looked like one of them was under construction, a la Death Star. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. I, <laughs> or I mean, it was just that. the CG. I mean, yeah. well. You Man, said we're, though that we're this, jumping way into the yeah, end. yeah, no, yeah we just jumped on. You said the though that this movie is the first movie with CG. It was one of the original. It was one of the first movies to employ digital effects. That's and, impressive. And for honestly, a, for a forgettable. Movie. I mean, they honestly um, pioneered the usage of a program that's still being used. And I can't. I can't remember the name yeah. of it. But that. I mean, it, I don't have my phone sitting here to, because I didn't want it to. You know, go off. But the bad podcaster. Which uh, lead the digital things lead to Mario and Luigi getting sucked through a portal to the hell from Spawn. What happens there? The Koopa people, <laughs> Goomba guys, they, they Skizzy up, and Dark no, no, no. or whatever. No, the Scapellis. It was Iggy yeah. and Spike. I said Skizzy yeah. and Barf. Skizzy and Barf. Bulk and Skull. Those are yeah. going to be our characters yeah. on our own video. Some fucking Power <laughs> Skizzy and, and Barf. Spike and Iggy. But, yeah. Okay, yeah. and they are trying to find Daisy. No, no. Well, yes. Yes, yes. And yes, they, you're correct. they kidnap it's like, Mario's it's like They kidnap <laughs> Mario's <laughs> girlfriend, <laughs> which, which we have, don't learn that till that later. Is, I've got a note that says that's Mario's hooker. But <laughs> seriously, have, though, that chick is dressed like a hooker. All I'm just, saying is she is a million times more attractive than Bob Hoskins <laughs> and roughly half his age, so oh, yeah. you might be right. But yeah. that was a thing in movies back then. Where if, if you man, had a mustache yeah. and a gold chain, you're supposed to be able to get. Oh, married. and if a woman was 22, she was far too old to be the boy for, the girlfriend of a 50 year old man. Sad. I have to jump ahead a little bit here, and because we because you brought up Mario's girlfriend, um, when they first arrive in Dino Hatton, uh, <laughs> I can't get you that. Dino. Hatton. She just is gone, and like everyone's like, like Mario's never like, hey, hey, where's my girlfriend? No, hold on. <laughs> he never. Let, let me. He never. Since you jumped ahead. He does reference not to the very that end. he was going to take her to see WrestleMania Nine. He, yes, that's later in the movie. Yeah, when she's that's the up first again. time he. But the remembers first, that she's missing. Right. Yeah. The first like when they first <laughs> fall through this portal and into this world. He just forgets about her. Just, just well, immediately forgotten. But about having her. said that, I mean, she gets kidnapped, and he's immediately forty-five minutes later in this world. That's true. So I don't even know if she's—he knows she's gone. Yeah. Oh, for baby. some reason, Iggy and Spike have abducted like 
That's right. 15 women thinking that they might have been Daisy. Thinking they're Daisy, yeah. And whenever they bring them to Dino Hatton, uh, <laughs> Koopa just called. goes, wrong person, fuck it, and throws them in a room to live with his Goombas. Which is pretty amazing. But yeah. also is questioning them, even though he knows they're not the princess. Yeah, like... That's I, odd, huh? Yeah, you, I, what is he going to learn from these people who don't even know the alternate Dino Hatton exists? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> also, <laughs> Luigi is taken with Daisy, and she brings him to the site, and this is what leads to them going Finding through the portal. Yeah. And I have in my notes, Daisy takes him to see the bones at TGRI pit, and he clearly <laughs> has a boner. <laughs> he clearly has yeah. Yeah. Some, <laughs> Somehow they are me- they're about to make love. Yeah, All Luigi has done so far is talk like a jackass and yes. tell her that he's a out-of-work plumber's assistant and she is <clears throat> smitten she's smitten. I will, he is too i will say that luigi's driving the van talks about how it sounds like it's doing something weird they it, mario says it's just the radiator all they do is pour a, bo- a bottle of water in it and it's all good. and the radiator <laughs> explodes they purchased a bottle of water it's all good. Water it's for all three dollars yeah in new york and in it was 1993 in, here's something that was that's that's noted in the uh trivia about this movie it's an evian bottle yeah, it is and when Mario holds it over Luigi's head, Evian backwards is naive. And that's supposed to be an actual joke. Aww. Yeah, I've been seeing that on Facebook like memes since Facebook began. Yeah. Like, let me tell you about how dumb these bottled water buyers are. Joke's on them. Everyone buys it now because we're all dumb. Sure. Yep. Wow. That's impressive. But that was way back in 1993. Yeah, right? back in 93, which means people have been making that joke for, for a long time. <laughs> 16 years, years now? 26. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. 26. So Why Daisy and Luigi are Dude, making man. out in ancient ruins. and uh, Over dinosaur bones. Yeah. With her Who great, great, she great, says, great, great Where she says they have opposable thumbs. They're almost human. Yeah. That's it, though. <laughs> that's the only thing that makes And then the Scapellis open up a <laughs> pipe somewhere. <laughs> and and Luigi's Mario like, fixes that pipe. Well, no, but Luigi, with the wrong Luigi. tool. Luigi's there, and he, she's just like... Oh, you're a plumber. You can fix it. And he's like, I don't know what to do. Like, yeah, he's the he's, worst plumber he's like, ever. He's like, well, we better get Mario on this. Yeah. It's because he doesn't have a mustache. It is. Yeah. Yeah. He's, it is. He's not believably Italian. Or fat. He's not fat. <laughs> well, Luigi's not fat, typically. Well, he's that's not. a good point. But he he's actually, have, he does have a little belly. He's taller than Mario. But doesn't he have yeah. a belly, though? Luigi? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, Luigi's kind of built like me in the, in the no, game. Like he's no. got a little. He's built like. Uh, let me think about that. A brick. I'll have it before that. More like we are Hayden. He's got a fat little body, but he looks okay <laughs> like with a, his shirt on. Like a teardrop with a head. Yeah. yeah. Like Sean can cosplay <laughs> Luigi very well. He has no mustache. Man. Well, I mean, we could draw it on his How face. How many people are we going to hurt in this podcast? Who, who else have we hurt? We, we've made fun. I've made fun of Zach. Uh, Eric made fun of his own mother. I didn't. He did it. Eric. I feel like you agreed with it. <laughs> Shut up. Don't get me in trouble again. We don't need to do another, another Munch apologize. I know. I know. Oh, man. The apology yeah. tour. Well, what that. I noticed is when they jump through the portal, because uh-huh. she goes missing. They fall like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet. Through hell. Well, and survive. But. In the fungus. In Mario 64, years later, they're jumping through doors. Things like That's that. very true. And that gave me a boner. That's where they got the effect. I noticed as soon as they fell and hit the ground that they were right in front of a, of some building called Thwomp. Oh yeah, and, and, as, it, and as, as it pans across, there's bullet bills. Yeah, bullet those bills. are some um, some little. Those are some Easter eggs. Easter eggs for the, the gamers out there. Yeah, and if y'all thought that you were gonna have a full long list of Easter eggs for this movie, Not fuck me. you. <laughs> That's right. That's it. That's about it. You'd be that, wrong. And the bombs, yeah, Bob-omps. yeah. Which for some reason, pisses me off that they spell it wrong. They yeah, do. They, they they get so close. The one thing in this movie that looks accurate is the bombs, and then in the since we had to watch it with the the uh, close cat, yeah, the subtitles on because we we're all talking over it the whole time because it's so good. <laughs> it's spelled B dash bomb. Yep. Yeah. So they came a centimeter from having actually something accurate from the games. Mm-hmm. And, and then also, it was wearing Reebok shoes. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oddly enough, when it goes upside down, you can see that this this Babam, which looks like one of those little wind-up toys, is wearing Reeboks, even though it's not wearing shoes. Mm-hmm. It just says Reeboks. S- sounds right. Yeah. I remember that in the games. Product placement, man. They got to pay for that movie. That's right. What a Tr- weird... Oh, trust me, that the nothing paid for that movie. It lost all kinds of money. <laughs> oh, yeah. It made $20. In, in fact, AJ and I were... <laughs> Uh, he uh, found a way to to uh, do a comparison of wait, what was the the inflation rate and the forty nine million dollar budget 
is comparable to an $85 million movie being made right now. And he looked it up, and all three Lord of the Rings films were made for $90 million each. So oh, comparable yeah. to the Mario budget. Yeah. Can you believe that? what kind of wow. difference in yeah. production? You, you want to know what that is? Peter fucking Jackson. Okay, yeah, well... well we're this, not going there. Well, maybe yeah. Peter Jackson should have made Super Mario yeah. Brothers. I mean, of note, Super Mario Brothers was written by the same guy who wrote Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I'll stand by Bill and Ted. And Date and Night. I, I will, too. too. What? And Date Night. Date Night. Or what did you say? Oh, and then it was... Rewritten. See, was the, the thing is, there were two other people who came out afterwards, because apparently the script was so bad, they brought in these two geniuses whose only credit to their whole career was the movie Mystery Date. A mystery Date. Based <laughs> on the old board game. That's pretty awesome. From 1991. So they got him a pair of rocket scientists they, they in there to fix right, this thing. They punched it right the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. And well, got us our masterpiece we now know. It love. is. It is beautiful. So Mario and Luigi come through the portal. They plummet. Yeah. They're so immediately... They, they jump from a ledge through the portal, and then they, they fall for... A long way, Through like what, fifteen seconds. What looks yeah, like hell probably. from the spawn movie. It's terribly malbouge. It's missing I mean, the the geysers of Mountain Dew. It, yeah. Yeah, that is the all it's missing. It is kind of funny because John Luke Wazima or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Why are you is. so bad with names? Leg, Leg Wazamo. Wazamo. Leg Wazamo. Yes. Yes. He is not a new person on the. Field. No, 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 not at yeah, all. I can't get his name right. I'm gonna call him Luigi. Okay, he's in Spawn. <laughs> yes, he yes. is. Ouija is the violator. Ouija is the violator. I'll get old Ouija. Ouija board. <laughs> but anyway, so it looks, it's kind of a little, a it's, little. It's, it's kind of goofy. Foreshadowing. So, so they, they fall through, and then the next character that we're really introduced to <coughs> is Toad. Yeah. Played by Mojo Nixon. Who Adam has a boner for because he <laughs> That's all he's been talking about all night. Mojo Nixon is a name I never heard till today. I just got and, and he apparently gave Jell Biafra a hand job once. And <laughs> Adam loves it. Give Jell Biafra a hand job. <laughs> we don't know that. I mean, we well, don't know that's that. That's true. We don't know that. But no, they, I, I mean, Jell did a whole record with. I'm joking, I think one percent of the population yeah. knows the, that. Yeah, imagine if you have never shit. Who else knows? Yeah, I know, imagine your average person hearing the names Jello Biafra and Mojo Nixon. Which is funny because I looked at the, the credits when it was rolling by, and that is not the name that was next to Toad. Yeah, it says Mojo Nixon. Does it? It yeah. looked like it said Todd Filer on it. I, I, I nah, thought said, that too. Now we have to rewatch it. I'm 99 percent certain. I saw I mean, we know Mojo it's him. Nixon. I'm 109 percent sure it's Mojo Nixon. No, I mean, like what it said in the credits. Oh. But I remember seeing Mojo Nixon thinking like, yep, there's that. No idea. knock on Mojo Nixon. I just never heard of him. Well, he's a singer-songwriter. Okay. That's that's what he does. And they wanted Tom Waits, but the budget would only allow do you Mojo think, Nixon. Do you think it was the budget or Tom Waits' people? Yeah. I don't know. Tom well, Waits was in that god-awful Dead Don't Die movie that just came out with a lot of really good actors. So I, I think most people will just take shitty movies if they like the director. I got to say, Tom Waits is just as bad as this movie. In my opinion. <laughs> I'm not also, saying I like Tom all his Waits. songs. Tom, Wa- Tom Waits was in the Imaginary movie with Dr. Parnassus, and that's a great fucking movie. Uh, and Tom Waits' oh, music is your awesome, there, so he's a dick. It's not awesome. It is awesome when the Ramones cover I Don't Want to Grow Up. That's it. That is awesome. That's it, though. But I'm, We're going to have to agree to disagree. I know, I know. Either way, it does not change the fact that, that Mojo, Mojo Nixon, Rally or whatever the fuck. Mojo, Mojo Riley. Nixon yeah. has his head shoved up some fucking machine. Cerebro. Ass and, and it shrinks down, down to look like our dear shrinks, friend Mike Robinson. Shrinks down and then, I don't know if you guys noticed, but, but he... he uh, we have, that's our fourth person because we've insulted this When week. Mike, who we love, he used to own mm. Gamer's Paradise. We bought Man. it from him to make infinite collectibles. When he calls me... It says Little Head Mike. <laughs> what's, what's amazing is we're going to have some motherfucker in like the Philippines listening to this and be like, I don't know any of these assholes. Yeah, that's fair. You don't know Mojo Nixon either. so that's Exactly. True. Or Jello <laughs> Biafra. Yeah. They might know the name Dead Kennedys, but they don't know the yeah. name Dead, yeah, I'd dead say, Jello. Yeah. So speaking of the Goombas, by the way, with the little so tiny dumb. ass head, but why are they like six foot five? I agree. I, I agree think it's so they that. can, I think, I mean, honestly, the, I believe there's some kind of they're kind of trying to draw some kind of parallel between fascists and King Koopa. Well, and, yeah. and I know, there was a Nazi vibe. They're, they're, they're that they're tall totally. because to get that head rig to work right, they yeah. probably had to have a big ass rig on someone's shoulders. But, yeah, and that's, that's the true. only reason. I just I really wanted to point out did you guys notice that Toad went into the machine wearing. <laughs> 
one set of clothing. Yeah. They shrunk his head and then he comes out, but nothing happened. But he's wearing different clothes. Yeah, I mean, like, dude's, well, dude's probably about my size. He's wearing a suit that fits him. Yeah. And somehow when he blows up to eight foot four <laughs> yeah, with a seven foot <laughs> shoulder span, the same suit's fitting yeah, him. Yeah, the fine. same it, it does beg, you know, the question mm. who designed That's fine, this? though. Who designed it, it, this? A genius. Because I do have to say the this. Goombas are <laughs> tiny. I don't. They're little. I don't. I necessarily hate the Goombas in the movie. I don't I, either. I just, the only thing I hated about the Goombas was their voice. They're well, some, I don't know. They're a little goofy looking. They're so happy, I can't hate them. I know. They're, they're, I, I they're, agree they're with big that. They look like Thanos. They got a little that Thanos vibe. Yeah, the main Goomba, the leader Goomba. Also, yeah. the lizard from Amazing Spider-Man. Yes. Looks just very like hard. That. There's a very good vibe of that. Do you dude. remember when that movie came out? I'm like, lizard needs a snout. Lizard needs oh, a snout. Totally. Lizard needs a fucking they, snout. And then the lizard, that came out. They wanted Lizard to be mo. He was great in the movie, yeah. but yeah, he looked like a Goomba. He looked stupid. With a lab coat. He looked like he did in the original comic. <laughs> like a Goomba with a lab coat. Yeah, he had a little bit of a face, too. He had a little snout. bit of a snout, buddy. He's got a snout. Smidgen a snout. Smidgen a so, snout goes snouting. a long way. <laughs> but but that's anyways. The, that's I, the episode name right there, by the way. Smidgen I think a snout. The, the Goombas, they do bring me positivity i don't know why they're so happy like yeah. you say i reeled back out of curiosity my facebook page and my very first facebook profile is toad having a great time from the mario movie I know. Well, your, your msn live used to be that same thing man i used that thing for years because for a while i thought your hair made your head look like a goomba like <laughs> like, like a, a, a video like game goomba no, no, the, the movie the movie goomba yeah. it just frames me <laughs> not your short hair no or, no not the short hair the the old like penis head hair oh yeah <laughs> i did have that's one of those things like we've i'm sure i've done it man. yeah we've it's, all had a bowl cut if you right? everyone needs to go back and look through your old pictures which modern science allows us to do very easy <laughs> uh, but but uh Every one of us had really bad hair at some point. And Absolutely. you know what? I'm going to tell you all, I had bad hair for like six years. No one ever told me. And I'm really upset about I, my I friends. I kind of did. I was screaming out when I kept drawing you as a penis. Yeah. <laughs> you, had baby screaming out. you had baby duckling hair? Yeah, well, but that when was his hair is cut down, hair. it's yeah. baby duckling ish. Mm -hmm. At this point, him. I wish I could have bad hair. Yeah. Well, you, you, you do have bad hair. Because I can see a couple little Charlie. Uh, Charlie Brown. Name? Charlie Brown sprinkles Man, do you know there. anybody's name? No. Do you, no. Do you know any character Nobody. ever's name? <laughs> I'm bad about it. Charlie, that. what's his name? Like, Charlie, what's his name? As if he's not, he's not famous. You guys right there, Stannis Baratheon. <laughs> Stannis Baratheon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Game of Thrones. Let's let's not get on that. Well, let's let's kind of move on. What what okay. happens next is the Mario Brothers get imprisoned. <laughs> what? No, no, that's before. Bertha steals the thing and then they get... Yeah. Bertha. Big Bertha. Bertha. She puts Big a hurt on, on, on Mario, though. <laughs> yeah, Gets Bertha. a little pornographic for a minute. <laughs> yeah. If y'all have played Super Mario World, you'll know Big Bertha as an enormous fish that can jump out of the water and eat you if you don't step on it. And this, it is a big old hefty lady in a spiky red suit. And it's really... Somehow still has the same... Vibe is a really you know, odd. big fish, but when she it. does, <laughs> she I mean, does make Mario saying, horny. Are they saying something? It's true. Oh, it's a big old fish. Yeah. Well, or, Mario know. actually cheats on his girlfriend right. by smooching up on Big Bertha while <laughs> wearing a Ronald. I McDonald noticed that costume. he tries to to steal the necklace off of her with his mouth, and it's, it's right between her tits. <laughs> <That's what, laughs> look, in my notes it says. Dance scene with Bertha is amazing. Mario bites cleavage while porn music plays in the background. Yeah. Which, as everyone who's been to a, uh, a dance club That's knows, amazing. they start off playing dance music. It's very exciting. And then out of nowhere, they'll drop to a slow song like it's a goddamn high school mixer. Yes, yes of course. <laughs> totally. That's how that works. And Mario is, I mean, it has to be stated, wearing a complete yellow suit. With, with gloves. gloves. Mustard Murder yellow. gloves. Mm -hmm. With gloves. Yeah. Mustard yellow head to toe. And Luigi's and, wearing red throughout the Oh, another game. thing in my notes is that it's almost like a smack in the face. The first 30 minutes of the film, Mario's wearing a green jacket and Luigi's wearing a I mean, red I'm hoodie. sure that was done on purpose. And the suit, like Adam said, the suit that Luigi has is bright red with a giant weird medallion. Yeah, well, Mario it's, it's has a, a medallion too. Now it's the it's it's the nineties dog. I don't remember meda giant circular medallions being a thing, but maybe in you Dino Hatton. You don't remember when Swing was was trying to come back? They kind of all that have like a night at the Roxbury vibe. Well, maybe. 
right? Mm-hmm. Yes. The villain Scarf Biggie. and Buff or Biggie. whatever. They <laughs> are the same. Biggie and Spike. Biggie and Spike. Buff and Slappy. <laughs> Wait, they're in Mario 2. Yeah. And 3. three. No, three. Mario 3. 3. Three, because Iggy is one of Bowser's the Cooper kids. kids. That's supposed to be those characters. No, because yeah. Spike is not one no, of them. Spike's just a random, like, dopey enemy that's got a little spike on its belly and head. Wow. You can actually play him in one of the Mario parties, too. Although they did get Iggy right with, like, the goofy little parted hair. They did. Yeah. You were right yeah. about that. Yeah, they did. Spike, that brings me it's... back. You know, you can tell this movie was oh, made man. in the 90s. I don't, how, much, how many times did we play in the basement of Mom and Dad's house, and one of us would have to be named Spike? I know. I got in an argument over Marsh about who was going to be named Spike. Spike. Yeah. And then I quit playing because he won. Yeah, I didn't want Spike to, was if, like, I, if I can't cool be Spike, night. I don't want to play. That's right. <laughs> oh. Damn, Eric! Way to fuck everything the up. Fuck, Eric's wearing a Super Mario 1985 and shirt. It says it's a me, a Mario. It's At a me, no a point Mario. Does Bob Hoskins let us know it's a him either? That's true. <laughs> and AJ, you're <laughs> normally the guy that says something's racist or rude or angry. How racist is this? Mario character towards Italian people. Well, I think he's supposed to be more of a Brooklyn stereotype, and in this, in this movie, yeah, like nothing in really, general. nothing really screams like Italian stereotype things. Just it's the Italian Brooklyn. plumber deal, yeah. The which, whole. I mean, he's always been an Italian plumber, so <laughs> right, right. But yeah, that's that that accent. I think is more of a shitty Brooklyn accent. Okay, yeah. Still I'm gonna interesting. I'm gonna bring it back to this movie. And what? <laughs> yeah. For the next couple beats, okay. I'd say like ninety percent of it, it's all just, just I mean, unfollowable garbage. Also, like you Until said you while get, we were watching it, it's loud. There's lots it of it is loud. There's oh lots yeah. of background there's, noise. There's, there's sparklers everywhere. There's sparklers everywhere for some reason. King Koopa's a germaphobe. Yeah. yeah. That's Why has he got his hands in? It's, he's hanging out in a big bath of cum. It looks like he's bathing <laughs> his he's body and his He's constantly talking about like wanting to be clean. clean. You're clean. And when he's getting all Ryan Reynolds rapey on uh, oh, days, he he's does talking about, oh, she's so clean. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Can he that. Say, yeah, I feel like he's coming in that, that big <laughs> and Which, <face>. which <laughs> King Koopa here, like a lot of villains, if you look him up, was based on... A little, little, little known political figure y'all might know, Donald Trump. He does have and, the uh, hair. Right? Oh my he's God, he's the, so Donald. He's got Trump. the hair. He's got the creepy vibe to him, and uh, it has been revealed by the people who made that movie, as well as several others, that he was part Trump, in there. A Trump character, which is weird when I hear people talk about how oh, that guy came out of nowhere. But they were basing Mario <laughs> villains on him in 1993. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wild. <laughs> you remember well, the first time you got kissed by a lizard? <laughs> Oh, yeah, God, that weird CGI, CGI tongue. tongue. Yeah, which um, T-Rexes are known for their long snake-like who's tongues. This, who's the red-headed woman with him? I have no idea. She Lena. Lena. Made up, made up for the movie. I Lena, have no Lena's idea who that's supposed to be. Yeah, who's she in Harry Potter? Aunt Petunia. Aunt, she's Aunt Petunia in Harry Potter. Oh, fuck. She, her whole point. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, like many characters in this movie, she comes in to be a minor plot device for three seconds, and then Becomes she stabs a, uh, Someone. Just like Yoshi as yeah. a minor oh, plot. That's a Yoshi big one. is a so completely wait. non-existent plot point. He just now here's the there. deal though. That's He's what I want to say. Of the royal family. Yoshi, yes, is Koopa's pet. In actuality, that was a five hundred thousand dollar animatronic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> which is fucking. Insane. How much was the budget? The budget was forty eight million. Uh, million. Wow. Well, okay. Well, I mean, they went way over budget. Like yeah. that's why that didn't even have an ending. Like you know, when Koopa turns into goo for no fucking reason, <laughs> just all of a sudden he's a cum blast. It's, that's it. Because they 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 couldn't film their ending. A cum blast. <laughs> green. Well, I don't know. How I to have many it. green slimy cum blasts. It, it actually just reminded me of the God. Ghostbusters. Uh, oh, yeah. Ice no cream point. stuff they had at, uh, at Pizza at, No, at no. Artie's <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say That's the second Pizza no, they used to, reference uh, They used to top uh, <laughs> They used to top ice cream With ectoplasm At Hardy's. That's true I do not remember What a I great time in our life Man, it was neon green That's <laughs> around the time You could butt fuck A land before time if you, if, Wait, if you want to <laughs> talk about, about If you want to talk about Great shit at Hardy's California Raisins 
Yes, oh yeah, that was amazing. I, I, I think that's another show. Uh, totally. I, I do too. I do yeah. too. I can talk. For some reason, I have a severe irrational hatred of the California race. <laughs> I fucking hate them. <laughs> I fucking hate you. We're done. Wait, this what? Moment. Yeah, but irrational <laughs> hatred. You ever, you ever see something why? and you can't explain why, but when you see it, you're just like, fuck that. I've learned. I've, 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 I've that. just learned something about AJ that I never knew. This that makes why? me hate you I, so much more. This why? Is, I don't know why? Why? I, mean, I just know that for some reason like I feel like it when I was a kid something happened like maybe my mom threw a California raisin toy at me or something who knows but for some reason maybe. I see him I'm like fuck, them, fuck, them fuck the raisins <laughs> and I see a regular raisin I'm like play jazz at me little piece of shit so when they're getting I love that but I gotta try to stay on track good, here. Good oh, we're trying we're good trying hey, hey man we, we get off and we come back wow that sounds even worse we always get off track, but we yeah. always come back to we it. We all come, try to. Come is this the first time other. Mario's referenced as Mario Mario? I believe it is at the, uh, in the police station. Mm-hmm. I'd have to check out to make sure there's not... Because those Atari games had weird shit in them, but as far as I know... See, that was what I brought up. That Like, if you go in the back in the bathroom, we've got that poster up, mm-hmm. or that little advertisement for the Mario In our Atari shitty game. office. Yes. yes. That actually says Mario Brothers on the cartridge, and at the bottom, Luigi is asking where Mario is. Like, as Mario is his first name, but they are the Mario Brothers, which would in, indicate yeah, that he I is, just, in fact, Mario Mario, just, but it's not spelled I out. I don't think it's ever said. And But but I could be wrong, though, because it, it like the Nintendo, uh, the Nintendo Power Comics could have said it or something at that some point. Or, yeah. Because there, there were Mario comics already running. A Valiant had Mario books running at that time. They're all I mean, real bad. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show had happened. I don't know if it was... Uh, Captain Lou Albano is never called Mario Mario. How many actors that have played Mario are dead now? All of them? Everyone. Who else has played him besides Captain Lou? And uh, well, there's the voice actor. That guy's still alive. Yeah, he's still kicking, but he's like 84, so... Yeah, it's a me no, and Mario's yeah. that old? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Bob know. Hoskins is that old? Hoskins. No, Bob Hoskins dead. is dead. Hoskins and Albano are both dead. I'll be damned. Yeah. What about the actors that played Luigi? They're both still kicking, aren't they? Yes. Uh, actually, I don't know if the... I think he might have died recently. Yeah, I feel like I remember that popping up on Twitter. Luigi Mario. Lego's almost still alive. Yeah, so, Lego's almost still kicking. Okay, I, yeah. King Koopa's dead. Yeah. Yeah, Dennis Hopper's this dead. This movie's cursed. People in it have died. Dennis Except Harper's Lego's dead. Almost. Well, they were all old. Dennis Harper. <laughs> Samantha <laughs> Harris, she's still alive. I like saying Harper. Why? <laughs> Because that guy came in the store and was saying, Harper died from Stranger Things or something. And I was like, what? his name's... Hopper. Hopper. Yeah, Barb Harper. <laughs> and after I said, I think his Man. name's Harper, real polite, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, Harper died. <laughs> I was like, he didn't even hear me. Yeah. But no whatever. One. What? Oh, I was going to say, no one's going to come in here. Was that a, th- a Stranger Things spoiler? Good point, because I haven't watched the last episode no, yet. But no. Damn, dude. It wasn't a spoiler. No. It wasn't a spoiler. Seriously, Damn. it wasn't. Damn, we got to cut Hopper that Hopper died. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler because it didn't happen, but you'll think for a minute that it happened. But anyways. Okay, so anyway, I think they should make a, a game based on that movie, though. That's what AJ said yeah. while we were watching it. What it, what would the game be like? I, I <laughs> would there would be sparks coming off of everything. Okay, everything. I, I, did, I did like the cars, especially the police <laughs> cars. Wait, do you mean as like, a kid? No, like no, you, no. I never saw that movie. I know, but if you imagine being a kid again, like, oh, that car's neat. If someone had to, if if someone was like, hey, kid, you're under arrest. I'm taking you in, and they put me in that car. In a car with a, in with that a bulldozer car. shovel in front of yeah, it. That, with sparks flying no off No brakes yeah. at all. With the motor crazy. coming out of But you know, why, you know why everything was running on electricity is because they didn't use fossil Is that ever stated fuels. in the but, film? Yeah. I mean, but it's, I think it's... Is it stated? It's like the... It wasn't it's, stated, it's so impl- I think you're smarter than the fucking It's implied movie. because there's no... Di- it, the dinosaurs didn't the die. The dinosaurs didn't die out, so there's no so fossil So they run fuels. on fireworks. They run, Sparkler. They, they run on pure rage because those cars are like... There's cars that have remains, like human remains or dinosaur That's true. Remains. Yeah, there's a car so, with a human yeah. body on, on the, the front of it. The people who wrote this movie cannot decide whether or not these cars have brakes. Because You're right. Sometimes they'll hit brakes, mm-hmm. and uh, then sometimes um, they have well, to use wheel elastic bands. To the, stop. Whenever they're first getting called in, they have to use the big elastic band to stop the police car. Literally ten minutes later, whenever Mario and Luigi steal the car, and they're getting chased by two other police officers, Mario just stomps the brakes and stops the car. And then later, when he's yeah. going through the tunnel, he screams about not having any brakes to stop. Yeah. And then, but with the guy who's about to run over a bomb later has, has brakes. brakes. Now, I, I do believe that the, the number one word used to describe this movie is. Uh, 
incongruent. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, because it does not. Yeah. It does not even reference itself while it's happening. I mean, it, it can't even remember, it doesn't even remember <laughs> the rules. It's already. Yeah. Set. It doesn't even. Yeah, it's similar to Endgame. One of the major Ooh. things they have is a de-evolution and evolution machine, which they can use to turn political prisoners into. Goombas. The Goombas, as we previously mentioned, which is a and political commentary, and Koopa Troopas, depending on what setting it's yeah. on. Depend, sometimes the Koopa Troopas, but uh, so they put what was he, you called them, Shiny and Hoss, or something, or what's the <laughs> Skizzy and Bar? Skizzy and Bar. <laughs> what the, are they, they, take, they take Izzy and Spike and put them in this machine. These two are the the mm. generic '90s bumbling duo, like Bulk and Skull and whatnot. And they ramp them up and make them super smart. And then you realize that Koopa could have made his whole army that's loyal super to him smart. super smart, including himself. And instead, he just did it to the two biggest dipshits on his roster. <laughs> I want to say my favorite scene in the entire movie was when Iggy and Spike are in the cheese wedge of a car. And, and they're going <laughs> negative miles an hour. And then all of a sudden, it just shoots off a cliff like in a dust cloud. And you're like... It couldn't even have got up to that speed to fly. It would have just fell off. But no, it, it doesn't shot make any the fuck sense. out. This little metal <laughs> little wedge. cheese wedge. Scooting sideways. They weren't even going forward. They were kind of <laughs> skidding sideways at half a mile an hour. So bad. And launched into space for no reason. I love the, how much dust was coming off that car, like as, as if it was screaming off that car. Oh, cliff. it would have been going like 60 miles an hour. And, yeah. the side then, of that you know how fun that would be to film that, though? Oh, amazing. Which I they had a blast. Something that just occurred to me is how often in this movie someone gets stuck in something goopy. Like either the cum bath or the the swamp they land in or the fungus, and it really starts to feel like some sort of weird fetish thing from the director at some point. Like people people always say Quentin Tarantino's got a foot fetish because he keeps bringing it up. At some point, this seems like a horny thing. It's directed by a married couple. We just learned something about this married couple here. That, that's mm-hmm. a good that's a good point. That's the thing. Like even whenever Yoshi is trying to save Princess Daisy. By like grabbing that girl, he just kind of gnaws on her feet a little bit, like. Nyang, nyang, nyang. And let me gnawing, just say, but, but she stabs the shit out of him too. Oh yeah, but but while he's gnawing on her feet, I mean, Liefeld's over here like, damn, there's feet, man. Liefeld <laughs> <laughs> does suck. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. Can't, can't, go, Rob a, can't go a whole fucking episode without talking about Rob fucking Liefeld. It's because Rob Liefeld sucks. And he yeah. mentioned Rapey Ryan too. Yeah, he, he did. Oh man, hitting, man. Them, hitting the high spots. Man, yeah. we've hit them all. Yeah. That's that's well, that's all for today, folks. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> God, Alex, that smells. Yeah, Alex's ass, by like, the way, is drowning us right it's, now. It smells like onions. But just yeah, the between, little drippage going between on. Between the uh, eyes are watering. Yeah, mm. between the deep, like weird quicksand horniness thing, the weird foot gnawing thing, the fact that there is more cleavage in this movie. Lots of cleavage. Than, like so much. Like this, this movie is so you know way they were hornier than Mario. They were. Be. We're torn on whether they're going to make this a kids' movie, family friendly movie, or were they going to make this a movie like a more cerebral movie for adults? And, and they, they just kept going back and forth. And so, what ha- like it's uh, they actually called the script a rainbow script because every time they would do a rewrite, it would have a different colored paper. And by the end of it, it looked like a rainbow because it was getting rewritten and rewritten and rewritten and rewritten. I heard 28 rewrites, something Jeez, like that. Yeah. yeah, that's always a good sign for a movie. Yeah. I mean, almost as many as still bears. Almost as many as Justice League. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) dig it, Sean. (laughs) Gosh, you're getting the greatest hits. Yeah, I've actually learned now that there is a weird contingent to people, like a lot, that are Venom defenders. Oh. And I don't understand. I thought you meant this. Movie. I'll defend Venom when it's firmly in the MCU. Yeah, I will defend Super Mario Brothers because it is by no means a good movie, but, but I had fun. a lot of fun watching it. I did. Have I will fun say this: it. I enjoyed it. Uh, it just got. It was a little long. It was. It I'm could have lost long. a good. It got a little minutes. epic. Well, I mean, there's so, that, there's that little scene with the pizza that just didn't there, need. Well, well, there's three scenes. I wrote it down. Pizza oh, for yeah, some reason. I wrote it down. Koopa is ordering a pizza. Pterodactyl tail. It was Dino, uh, <laughs> yeah, Dino, Dino lizard, pterodactyl tail, Dino, Dino lizard, lizard hold no the mammal, mammal, no worms, worms, and a uh, spicy. Which of note, this whole scene is just <laughs> wow. coop. It's out of nowhere, it's like for, some, I, for no reason. Yeah, there's a video screen that pops up with some guy who his whole like life thing is that he was the pizza guy in Super Mario Brothers. And the thing is, is the pizza keeps getting referenced. Yeah, yeah like, for the next thirty minutes, every like, few seconds, Koopa's like, never shows pizza? up. And someone, well, well, 
Should have got in it the, for free. I mean, like in his in his evil diatribe at the end, someone buzzes in and they're like, "Hey, sir, your your pizza's, pizza's ready." And he's like, "I don't need to worry about that right now." I feel so like fun. that's like Ninja Turtle inspired. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, but I'm not sure it hit the mark. It didn't hit nothing it, in this film. No, nothing mark. really hit like, the mark. Speaking of hitting the mark, and I'm gonna use this as a roundabout. Why does every single Koopa and Koopa, Troopa and Goomba, they always use flamethrowers that shoot out about two feet in front of them. And they will be aiming at like a, a car that is half a mile down the road and they'll blast their little two foot flamethrower and be like, why didn't it hit? I don't hit it. The other thing that's beautiful about those Goomba things or whatever they are is they're not very mobile. Like, not they're all. like this kind of bumbling along. Like the video I said I saw of me where I'm just like <laughs> huge and walking like a baby Huey or something. And they walk weird and they have little baby arms. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it really affects me, the way they fall and everything. You know what? It's, it's funny. You know, you guys are talking about the fire, too. Uh, if you read the back of the box, it actually tells you that Bowser can... Well, he's not Bowser. King Koopa can spit fire, although I don't think that <laughs> never, ever never happened. happened once. Never happened in the movie. Never not happened. Once in the movie. Hey, another thing is the the uh, we were talking about Easter eggs. The fucking super scopes in the movie. Ah, uh, the super scope. That that the, yeah, those those absolutely were the super scopes. Yeah, the, the Mario cool. yeah, Right after I complained that another gun should have looked like a zapper or a super scope, the super scope shows up as mm-hmm. the de-evolution gun mm-hmm. that turns King Koopa into his T-Rex form, and then finally a giant <laughs> puddle of green cum. Adam pointed out that <laughs> one of the Guns is connected by a phone wire. Yeah, <laughs> which it's not a even a gun. Cord. It's a it's a mouse clicker. Yeah, yeah they, 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 it's they, it's Daisy mouse. gets this gun that Yoshi's only point in the whole movie is gnawing on a foot sexually <laughs> and, and, and yeah. nudging this like Q cat. If y'all remember Q cats, <laughs> there was just a little laser pointer, and she uses it to point at a at a monitor and clicks on something and to that, see. And then that's how we end up seeing. King Koopa's pizza order, isn't it? Because yeah. she which, clicks the yeah. screen. Which, oh, no, Koopa has this shredder cam thing. He does. Yeah, he, does. he can see everywhere. Now, to be Koopa fair, that's a 90s trope of any villain. Yeah, every villain can see everywhere at any time and is still a giant dumbass. I can't find anything. <laughs> can't anyway. find it. Where are these guys I can clearly see in front of me that is in a camera system I, I, I set up myself? I know I put this camera somewhere. Fucking forgot where it's at. Don't well, know. The contractors lost the paperwork. <laughs> that's it. Where's I'm Cam- watching them. Them damn Scapellis. Yeah, <laughs> ah, that's it. That's Master drawn camera twelve, wherever the so, fuck that is. Now, AJ, you said that that you thought that the 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 badass song in the movie "Walk the Dinosaur" had a, a music video. That's by the Goombas, yes. and I mean, and uh, I want to say Fish is part of that band. Fish like Ph. Fishbone. Oh. Fi- Fishbone, fish, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I mean, well, look, oh, let me. Look. I mean, was it yeah. was it written for the? It movie? was written for that. The movie. That we actually we should have looked up before we started doing this. Yeah, yeah, I should have. I, I remember this, down, but and it's weird. I wish I would have looked it up before we did this because I. It's have you ever remembered something and you get to thinking about it and you're like, do I remember that or is that like a weird fever dream? Or did from I, when I make this? Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. I distinctly remember a video for Walk the Dinosaur and it being. Sort of popular, sort of like how Do the Bartman was a thing for like a month. Yeah, oh, yeah. I remember that. I remember being something. There like is that. a video. There is a video, and but it's, it was is not by the Goombas. Okay, who's it by? Was not was. I don't know. Was it written for the movie? I believe it was covered because that was 1988. Okay. Okay. So right, there's okay. our answer. Right. So what happened here is because whenever the subtitles come up, it says "Walk the Dinosaur" starts playing. Oh, whoa! Hold up. By the Goombas. George Clinton is who I meant to say, not George fish. Clinton's a badass. George Clinton and the Goombas, written for and had a video featured in Super Mario Bros. Okay, so I'm not just going so on. So that, that was a fact. I remember That this. was a hit song from the movie. I remember my mom or listening to this in her car, but I can't tell you if she heard it first because of the movie. <laughs> what is this? Just this is this. This is this. Oh. That's a go- there's Toad as a Goomba. I think yep, you gotta, it is. You know, you gotta watch boom, out. We gotta boom, stop boom. him, though, because... Uh, Copyright. Yeah, y'all can... So. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get busted on that one. But y'all well, should look that up on real. YouTube, especially if y'all are listening to... Or on Spotify. Whatever y'all listening to us on right now, that shitty song's probably on. But you know what? That song's not shitty. That it's actually awesome. not a shitty song, no. I'm no. just trying to be yeah, negative that, as That possible. was actually one of the more fun things. I remember <laughs> that, like, playing at a middle school dance, and I don't know if that... That's probably is me mm. making shit up. But. I mean, really, though, it is a fun movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. It's just a little long. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a little long, but I did I did, I did, did really like the Thanos snap 
uh, near the end. I know like, they, they used the same they, like, graphic. Disintegrated. Yeah, and they were they were disintegrating. They it's pretty cool. Showed up. AJ, who headlined WrestleMania nine? Fuck. Give me y'all talk about something else. I'm almost certain that is the Yokozuna Bret Hart one. But uh, if not, you'll have to edit that out. Now we know it would have been WrestleMania nine based on the year. Right? Yeah. I'm actually just going to type in WrestleMania ninety three to see what. Mario is going to take Daniela to. And well, the thing is, right now there's like 12 people listening to this going, that fucking moron, that was the same. <laughs> yeah. That's where Undertaker <laughs> broke his foot. I don't know shit That's about the it. one where Undertaker shit his pants when Sid Vicious trying to lift him up. That happened. <laughs> See, Coble, at the Coble kid would It know was this. WrestleMania 9. Okay. So. And it is the headlining match. I think Hulk Hogan was still there. At this I'm time. pretty sure it's the one. Yep, Yokozuna challenged Bret Hart, and then after Yokozuna cheated and beat Bret Hart, for, and uh, Yokozuna got his ass beat. Our hero Hulk Hogan came and won put him s- gave himself a title match and won the and, belt and won the belt from Yokozuna, who had already been beaten down. Oh yeah, because he's very heroic. Anyways, Mario had big plans to take to take Nessa her to or see whatever that. fucking name Daniela. That. What is it with you and How? names? Do you not remember this? Nessa. Daniela? Do they say her name? They yes. say it like oh, six times. Fuck. And we call her Mario's hooker. Mario's hooker. She better be putting out good for WrestleMania seats. <laughs> I don't know. If it was 93, they probably wasn't that expensive. Yeah. It was something, though. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to go. I mean, probably more Undertaker than, was there. <clears throat> probably more than a plumber. That's the one where Undertaker faced Giant Gonzalez. Oh, boy. Yeah, so a big one. <laughs> Anyways, moving back to Mario, the movie. Eric has yeah. an interesting... Well, I mean, we, we brought it up a little bit in the, in the pre-game show um where professor podcast had provided us with this little bit of information about the boots that they wear the little jump boots that they actually have to put the bullet bill cartridge in to yeah. kill koopa yeah Dumb. were actually the same boots used in the prison scene in face off that's what it was crazy. i knew they were in another yep. movie that's crazy. That's, that's insane. Same, same boots. That's just prop recycling. Yeah. Yep. Face off is neat because if y'all ever watched a movie and when it's over with, you can't decide if you liked it or not. Yes. Because that's me with that movie. I like Face Off. Because well, my problem is I, I love Nick Cage and I hate John Travolta. And then they swap. Places. And then they play each other. So it's it's pretty decent mm. though. Even that's though it. John Travolta looks like he's wearing another human's face as a man. All the time. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't look... He looks like Hellboy. Looks like Vincent D'Onofrio <laughs> in Men in Black. Oh, man. Yeah. His face is like... Ah. Speaking Which, of Men in Black, one of the writers wrote this movie. The main writer. And you can feel that vibe. It has a um, Schumacher vibe, too. So they were going for Ghostbusters. Gosh. That's really the vibe I, they were going for. I they mean, they almost they, hit the mark. They actually that. had in mind... Mario being Bill Murray. That's actually how the movie was written. Terrible. Oh, I would awful. also watch that, but it would be bad. But yeah, the guy the guy who's reporting on the dig site, actually, that's funny you mentioned that, because the first thing I thought is like, that guy looks like a guy who has no dick in Ghostbusters 1. It's him? No, it just looks oh, like him. But that's I mean, the that was TGRI the, site. But. So that's what yeah. they were going for. They were going for that that kind of vibe, Ghost, like Ghostbusters. Like They wanted a sleazy Mario, but it didn't... It, it just... So many rewrites and everything, it just didn't go that way. It just became like simultaneously. It was like back and forth. They couldn't decide what kind of movie it was. Yeah, they didn't. It's and that's exactly how the whole movie feels. Like with the breaks, it's the same thing. It's like the whole movie's that it's way. It's inconsistent. Very inconsistent. Is it a wacky slapstick comedy? Or is it a horny sex comedy? Is it a straight up action movie with explosions? Nobody knows. Is yeah. Does no, it? No, nobody knows. It does kind of have its own legacy, though. It has a it has a cult following. I'm sure. I mean, it and and we one. just heard about 20 minutes of new footage were unearthed. Yeah, and that they probably could have stayed, you know, buried. Uh, yeah, well, it's a it's a scene where Mario uh, tracks down the Capellis. Tell me, there's cleavage. I'm <laughs> sure there's there definitely cleavage. Yeah. Bob Hoskin pushes up them titties. <laughs> yeah, he'd look good in a bra. So the original. Just oh oh wow. wow! Oh my god! Oh boy! Munch is that showing us me, his though, best cleavage. Of, right. The first screenwriter that was going to write the movie though wrote Rain Man. Good and, lord! And, and he wanted the movie to be an adventure, like a road trip. Wow! Did you say someone good, from actually. Jurassic Park was asked to make? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Tim was asked to make Yoshi. He was just like. I got a job. I'm, I'm good. I think, I think I'll be all right. I'd rather not taint my legacy yeah, here. I'm good. I'm on Jurassic Park. The guy who made the the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park that somehow to this day still look great. 
It's because they're physical years. effects. Yeah. Not all. Some of them are CG, and even that CG yeah, looks great. Some, some of it does. Like the T-Rex is sometimes CG. Still looks amazing all the time. And then we see stuff like this where the animatronic puppet looks like he's got that Yoshi has a creepy like Joker smile through the whole thing too and that's where his their, mouth goes so all the way that up. was their idea to try to soften him up to make him not look like a vicious dinosaur yeah it reminds me of like I mean, he waved goodbye at the end yeah you know those like <laughs> scary things from shitty movies where it's supposed to be something that's both cute and scary at the same time sort of yeah. like Chucky sure Kind of reminded me of that. Like, you can tell they tried to make it cute, but he also looks like a nightmare. But his neck is also always fucked up where he, it's like he, well, he got stabbed in the neck at one point. <laughs> he does get stabbed also, the, never referenced again. Yeah, the, uh, the cute yeah. dinosaur mascot gets straight up shivved in just, the neck. Just bow. And then they just yank it out, and they're just like, oh, whatever. And then <laughs> no blood, no mention of it. No, nah, he just gets pouty for a second. I mean, a lady gets vaporized. Yeah, and thrown into the wall, <laughs> just like, immediately skeleton. skeleton, and immediately becomes a skeleton. It reminds picture. me, yeah. and this this reference is going to make sense to like two people, and I'm sorry, but it reminds me of the old episode of The Simpsons where they think they find the angel skeleton, mm-hmm. and it ends up being an advertisement for like a mattress store. But she, when she hits the wall, it looks exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> but she still got her fancy earrings, even yeah. though she has been vaporized. It reminds me of the era, and I think it is the era, maybe of like robot jocks. <laughs> what? Why does wow. it remind you of? It just, it just has that era of vibe to it, like the 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 dystopian. It's it's kind of a dystopian place, Dino Hatton. It's it's, but it's like that. We're not really sure what dystopian means, so we're just gonna make it look. Future, you know, like like, p- like like punks would live there, yeah, or like something. They, you like know, they like watched that. Blade Runner and they thought they were yeah. going to get cute with it. That's it. Or like yeah, like um, the Star Trek guys would beam down for a vacation there. Yeah, and they're all, <laughs> everyone's yeah. an alien, but they're all human. They're, they're all like really, wearing a trench coat, trying yeah. to fit in. <laughs> yeah, they or, just have something on their forehead. Yeah, yeah, like also, a little Mark like Eric or something. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> that brings a point too. Is when they first land in Dino Hatton. There's like four or five <laughs> random people. Have. They have like yeah. like Star Trek looking like dinosaur features. But and it's, one it's almost a cool effect. A, and it's, straight up, it's immediately forgotten yeah, and totally it's disregarded. Just, oh, but it's uh, such a cool effect that they use for two seconds and then forget exists. But they went way, I, mean, I don't know how far because it won't tell you, but they went way over budget with this movie. That's why the ending does not have Mario throwing a bob bomb down Bowser's throat. It's just ends with him turning into a pile of goo because they couldn't shoot the scene. Well, they got that sweet ass Reebok money from that bomb though. So <laughs> yeah. yes, they did. But the movie does end. I mean, we're at the end, right? The yeah. movie does yeah. end yeah. with Daisy well, I mean, coming the, back in. They saved yeah. the day. Yeah, Daisy shows up at the end, like with a grenade belt and like a, a full on assault rifle, and she's ready to take it to take it to town. So they're clearly setting up for a sequel. That I'm still waiting on 26 years later. I mean, the time is ripe for that Mario Brothers sequel. I, I think you're right. And it would be cool if they made a video game out of it. I would play the shit out of Super Mario Brothers, the movie, the game. Not to be confused with Street Fighter, the movie, the game. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have to say, overall, I'm going to give it a, a, a three and a half out of five stars. Oh, that's pretty high. That's that is high because I wasn't going to give it more than two. I thought it was fun. It yeah. is fun, but that's why you give it a two. But you also seen it as an adult where Eric was excited to see it as a kid and it really hurt him. Oh, I loved that movie as a kid. It did not hurt me at all. So you had a five? A five? Hell no. <laughs> see, this is why I don't like uh, like single things here. Because if we could give it like a rating of, do I think it's a good movie? If we're rating on how good of a movie it is, it's a 1.5. Is it an entertaining movie? I'd agree. It's about 3.5 because it starts off real like... Fun. Man, this movie's fun and stupid as shit. Mm-hmm. And then it drags on for almost two fucking hours. But that it did do. Harry and the Hendersons is a drag or two. Yeah, <laughs> you know, lots of those. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> that motherfucking movie is. Lots epic. of those. <laughs> lots of those movies have those middles. Though, it's as are, long as fucking Two Towers. Oh god. Yeah. Harry and the Hendersons. Uh, people are wrong when they say movies are getting longer. They're just getting back to the length they yeah. were. Yeah. And I mean, know. there's that part in there where they yell at him and they buy him double cheeseburgers <laughs> and they try to make him leave. I love you know that what movie. I'm talking about? Get out of here, Harry. Get out of here, Harry. I love we that. don't want you no more. Hey, man, you're clipping over no, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. And I love but, that uh, movie, though. The movie was a little epically long. Oh, God. I, yeah. I found myself was, falling asleep. But I will say. You, do, you were falling asleep. Um, I saw you. Well, I looked at oh, your man. wife and she was out, and I was like, that looks good. Yeah. But, anyways, I think I'm going to put it at a 3 5 myself. Hey, right on. Because I, I enjoyed it, and it was fun. Can we leave this podcast saying 
and this is the theme of the next few episodes, this is a good a, a good video game movie. It's probably one of the better ones, sadly. I would say, based on the fact that they had really nothing to adapt into a movie, that yeah. they didn't do a terrible job, because there's nothing there. Just, and, just think the lucky stars they didn't do Legend of Zelda. I mean, yeah, this yeah. ain't... It could have been worse. could have been worse. I mean, this isn't... Resident Evil that has a story. This is fucking well, Super Mario Brothers. At, at least with Mario Brothers, it may, may not be a good movie, but it's a fun movie. Yeah. yeah. It'll it'll let you forget about some shit for a couple. No, I, I kind of want to get rip shit and high again and watch it and see if it's any better that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Could be. And another thing is I was if it slightly came out drunk today, when watched it. it'd have a lot of hatred. More more hatred. Oh. I don't think they would it would never get released. I don't think so. Not, not like that. But you not know, like that. we're we're all over a bad movie when it comes out. Oh now. sure. Yeah, Nintendo would yeah. take a look at that. They would shelve it, and they would help people forget it ever existed. We'd never see it. Right. Which we do have another Mario, Mario movie coming. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah, the thing apparently is, there is a new Mario movie. It, it seems like every CGI. few years we hear stories about them working on one. Yeah, but I'm, I'm. We were talking earlier about how good a good like straight up horror Metroid movie would be. Oh though. man, and that's my goal. There. It'd have to be silent. Yeah. Almost. I mean, nearly silent. The just. problem is that it would have such a small audience, they wouldn't be able to justify the big-ass budget it'd need. I think done, they've done silent movies before, and I'm not talking about, like, in the 30s. I'm talking about, like, somewhat recently where what you don't that? hear words for, like, the first 40 yeah, minutes. What was like that one Quiet that just, Place? Yeah, there you go. Which they're making a sequel to, but yeah. Quiet Place was fucking awesome. It, it, that's a good movie. Seriously. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's got, like, seven words in the whole movie. Yeah. Right, so it can be done. And see, I think Metroid would need that. I mean, Samus needs that. It, it needs to be focused on her and her, her. Well, she's alone. That's what she's that's what stuck she's, in space. Yeah, yeah. She's alone. You get space pirates. Yeah. All right. Really, so there ain't nobody to talk to. Right. Yeah. I think uh, we're gonna wrap this up. All right. Yeah, man. So, guys, listen. You've been listening to the show. We've got lots of um, lots of feedback lately, and the show is growing. So we're grateful for everybody. You know, download and streaming. If you guys could, it's really helpful for us if you leave a review with Apple Podcast or or on Spotify. Just review it or or leave a rating. That'd be great. Share it with your friends. Uh, we're really having a blast with this thing, and we're grateful that everybody's responding. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with all the links. You can find us at Buzzsprout, Spotify, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and there's. Basically anywhere you can find a podcast, Basically. Google Play, everywhere, right? YouTube. Mm -hmm. YouTube, Twitter. I mean, we share the links on our Stitcher. Facebook. You come find me, I'll pull it up on my phone. We Instagram, can listen to it that way. Stitcher. <laughs> I mean, it's it's everywhere you can think of, and man, we're we're really grateful. So keep promoting it. Thank you, everybody. Always send us suggestions. Yeah. Uh, Adam posted on the Infinite Collectibles page suggestions, and, and there were some damn good ones. Yeah, there were some damn good ones. I, 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 J Town really wants us to 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 go over the rise and fall of Sega Genesis or oh. Sega as a company. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty good one. You can end with that AT Games bullshit. Well, they, <laughs> they actually have a, a mini coming up that looks awesome. Yeah, but, they do. But we'll save that. We'll that's save a good that. idea. But guys, so anyways. If you could do that, that's great. And you can also find us. You can see any of these guys in person, live in the flesh, at Infinite Collectibles, three two three three Clark's River Road, Paducah, Kentucky. Maybe a little more flesh than you'd like. More flesh than you'd like. <laughs> you can see minor Eric's cleavage, just like Big Bertha from Mario. And uh, we're we're getting out of here. Okay. So you the guys next have a good night. the next few episodes are going to be about video game movies. Yeah, I think next we're going to either uh, we're entertaining. Street Fighter, I believe, that's our next. Yeah, yeah. that's a bad one. No, it's yeah, a fun Street one. Fighter. I can't wait to hear my all-time favorite lines from uh, Raul Raul Julia as uh, M Bison. Oh man, about Tuesday, y'all know it when you hear it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned, and we'll see you down the road, guys. Peace.